This is your stronger coach, Ryan Mathias from MathiasMethod.com, and today we're talking about walking. Walking, something very simple, right? Everyone does it on a daily basis. Well, I'm about to say something very controversial that many of you may not agree with, but it's true. Get ready for this. Walking is not exercise. Let me say that again. Walking is not exercise. Simply because walking is not intense enough. Now, of course, you go to your doctor's office, he's like, oh, hey, do you exercise? And you're like, yeah, I walk every day. Well, guess what he's writing down on the piece of paper after you tell him that? He's writing sedentary. Sedentary means without exercise. Without exercise. The reason he's writing that is because the ACSM, that's the American College of Sports Medicine Guidelines, state that the exercise minimums are, there's uh, one of these three things you can do, or one of these two things I'll say, and then it's a combination of those two. You can, for exercise, these are the minimums, to not be considered sedentary are moderate intensity exercise for 30 minutes a day, five times per week, or vigorous intensity exercise, 20 minutes a day, three times a week or a combination thereof. You can do one of those two things, or you can do a combination to be considered exercise. But walking is not intense enough to meet those guidelines. To be moderate intensity exercise, it needs to be something such as jogging, that's a little bit more plyometric than walking, because your feet have to leave the ground, you have a air phase when you're jogging, whereas walking you are always attached to the ground. Jogging, running is also considered in that. Uh, that would be something that's considered moderate intensity exercise, or there's cycling, or something that gets your heart rate up. Now moderate intensity exercise is something that you can do in bouts, or you can do it continuously. You can do something for three to five minutes, with not much rest in between because it needs to keep your heart rate up. Uh, maybe a minute rest in between because this is moderate intensity, not vigorous. You need to do something fairly continuous. And the way they want you to, they state exercise really needs to be is it needs to be repetitive motion. Now we do a lot of repetitive motion in the gym, such as repetitions, but that's very hard to judge what exactly exercise would be considered in the gym. So we're gonna keep this outside of the gym and just talk about walking, jogging, cycling, and things similar to that. Something repetitive that you can do continuously, uh, maybe boxing or something, something you can continuously do. Now, vigorous intensity exercise. What would be considered vigorous intensity is something like sprints, something you can do in bouts of less than three minutes. And the rest in this one can be a little bit longer because it's much more intense, just like if we have to do a maximal squat or something over, we'll say 80%, you're gonna need to rest a little bit more to be able to do that same activity again. But the overall time for vigorous activity, overall time, including rest time, should be 20 minutes. Now, that doesn't mean you do uh, the fewest bouts that you can within those minutes and rest for 10 minutes. No, it, it needs to have a reasonable rest time as well, which is something I'd say three to five minutes is pretty reasonable. It's actually a little bit high depending on what you're doing, but you want to catch your breath and then go again. That's what we try to do with the Matthias method is, is sprinting after our uh, lower body days. <clears throat> On both days we try to do some sprints. We do uh, six to ten, sometimes twelve sprints, and what we do is we sprint as fast as we can for about thirty seconds one direction, turn around, walk back the other way. That's about twice as long as it takes to uh, sprint that way. It takes about twice as long to get back. We turn around and go again. No rest period in between. Just keep it going. And we just keep doing that. And that takes about uh, fifteen to twenty minutes. So that's our vigorous intensity exercise that we do after all of the other lifting and exercise that we do in the gym. But uh, the basis of me telling you this, uh, that, that walking is not exercise, is to do something a little more intense. Now, can, can walking be considered exercise? It can be. If you are uh, doing something very intense with it, such as putting a backpack, a weighted backpack on and walking up and down hills or stairs or something. That could get your heart rate up quite a bit. But if, if you're just out for like a, a regular stroll, that is not considered 
exercise to the ACSM guidelines. It needs to be more intense for exercise. You will not gain the adaptations and benefits of exercise by walking. You need to do something that's more intense. Something that takes a lot more effort, usually something we don't want to do. Usually whatever you don't want to do, that's what you need to do. That's what you need to do to get stronger, to get better. So, next time you're out for a stroll, think, this is not exercise. You know what I'm doing? This is daily activity, because yes, it does burn calories. Yes, we do get a benefit from walking. It's better than just sitting around. I'm not saying never do go out for a walk. But if you're going to go exercise, if you're going to tell people, hey, I exercise, it needs to be more intense. Talk to you later.